Hello dear student welcome in this online session of part 2 and today we are going to learn this chapter as I made you understand about the moment towards the freedom fighting moments which is actually relating with the textbook of 8th standard and the subject is 8 uh, subject is SS so in this chapter of the revolt 1857 I made you understand that why this revolt was a failure first of all why it was actually fail okay and in this short of glance we can see that key when the revolt was actually accepted as a failure revolt what was the reason behind this kinds of failure so let's see it out here in this lesson now i'll also make you today understand in the uh, we'll also learn about this kinds of leaders as i made you understand here that uh, the leaders like Bahadur Shah Zafar then we can say Nana Sahib Peswa then if you'll go more further Bihar and the Kumarsi then Jhansi's Rani Lakshmi Bai, then Tatya Tope, Revolt of 1857 and all in the Gujarat. Special topic to discuss here is Revolt of the 1857 of the Gujarat, then why the revolt was actually some of the failure of the revolt and what was the end of the revolt, what was its effect also will be going on further. So therefore my dear student, this lecture is going to become very interesting and very knowable also according to somehow the, in, uh, we can say according to the internal theories to here. So as I made you understand in the previous lecture we read about the basic theories related to the Mangal Pandey, related to the revolt failure and revolt, uh, how it started, why, why was we needing about the revolt and all. See one thing is very pretty sure and common that if we could not be having this kinds of leader in the ancient time obviously we will we, sh we might have not attended the great amount of the freedom today therefore we can say that the leaders who were including inside the freedom moment is actually given on a page you can get the detailed information by the by all the leaders by small some paragraph reading by yourself and literally we can say that among them one of my favorite we can say that or not only really the favorite among them one thing we need to understand which is actually done by the we can say Kumarsi what was that among all these leaders we can say everyone all of them are great leaders but we can say something was done by Bihar's Kumarsi what was that that I need to first of all make you understand here see Kumar Singh was from Patna as we know that that is actually Patna and Jagdishpur were the main centers at the time of the revolt in the Bihar. Now in the Bihar, Kaur Singh was actually there. He was ruling there also in the Patna. And literally, uh, we can see that Kaur Singh, a 70-year-old man, can you imagine a 70-year-old man actually fought for his nation and therefore against the Britishers and during that kind of revolt against the Britishers, he was actually gunshot on his arm. Now when he was shot on his arm, somehow his body was needing some kinds of medical treatment but before getting medical treatment he was thinking that I will be actually serving my nation and there is no time for the medical treatment therefore I need to cut off my arm and throw in the river. So he just chopped his arm and threw into the river and then he fought for the nation. Can you imagine even small blade is actually uh, chopping our finger we are actually we are generally penetrating with the pain he just cut his arm such a dedicated person was that so much delication can be seen in him so literally we can see he offered to the river Ganga and he said that Ganga is my mother I will offer this my arm to river Ganga and therefore he fought from the Jagdishpur Bihar and he also we can say he actually controlled somehow the Britishers and then somehow like he was not able to withstand with that kind of persons and then he got his death so see here my dear student this all the basic people basic we can say like queen of Jahasi Lakshmi, Lakshmi Bai Rani Lakshmi Bai and all then we can say uh, Kanpur's so we can say like Nana Sahib Peshwa then here Bahadur Shah Zafar from the Mughal Emperor and all these all the leaders were actually active at the time of 1857 revolt but laterly we can say that ki they were also not that much that much they were not uh, helped by the other people to here that's how the revolt was not actually going proper on the verge so we need to understand ki what was the revolt of Gujarat in the 1857 now if the name is coming of the Gujarat you know my that what is actually the Gujarat the land of Gujarat Gujarat is actually the land of the people who are always ready to fight for the nation and protect the own nation people as you know that the Gujarat is also uh, Gujarat has given some of the national leaders like Mahatma Gandhi and other also people like we can say Sardar Vallabhai Patel and all so my dear student we can say that the revolt at the time of the Gujarat is also a very important theory in this revolt where we can say that the revolt in the Gujarat was also taken out in the same year that was 1857th year and laterly we can say that the 7th battalion uh, of the British army broke the revolt at Ahmedabad 
Now you know the Ahmedabad, it is very near to the Gandhi Nagar, which is the capital city. Gandhi Nagar is the capital city of the Gujarat, and literally we can see that okay, Gujarat in the zone 1857, this revolt actually started from the Ahmedabad. Now, who were the who, some of the people were there? You know that, but who are the people who actually inaugurated this lamp of fighting movement from the Ahmedabad? Let's check it out in the lesson here. So it was actually also said that okay, this revolt was not completed, but it was halted, means it was stopped out. So we can say that okay, Dahod, Jalod, and literally we can say more apart from that Godra, Panchmahal, as we am here in the Panchmahal, then we can say they all witnessed this kinds of revolt, and literally we can say that screamers and with the British army they soon captured these areas. Literally, we can say that the soldiers uh, were somehow able to capture the areas and all, and the government officers also with the help of the native with the and they soon defeated to somehow the British armies and all. So we can say that in the Gujarat, special tribes and the caste also active in this revolt. Now which were they? Nayakadas of the Panchmahal continued the rebellion after a rebellion group or continuing the fighting later after the revolt also or we can say for a year also. For a year they actually continued the fighting because they were thinking that see as I'm in the Panchmahal they were thinking that this area must be free and not only this area whole of the Gujarat must be free there. So therefore we can say that the revolt was more carried out not only he see my dear student we can say some of the people related to the panchmal district of area and the other district of area of gujarat we can say were also relating with the struggle battle now who were they see just like some of the names i'll, I'll recall the name you need to understand the garbat das patel then the headman of the anand in the khera district also collected almost around 2000 of the people 2000 volunteers were carried out who were Kohli's, the Nayakadas and all the communities and they joined the revolt and literally we can say that he was also supported by the Jiva Bhai Thakur at the we can say Khanpur then Malaji, Josi, Krishna Das, Dave and other other people also supported him and they blew off we can say that the revolt and in which we need to understand the women were also active in that now what were the duty of the women see here the women were actually going and they were catching the fire bullet, the cannonballs with the we can say with the other uh, uh, we can say clothes and other kind of materials and all so where we can say that garbar das was actually exiled to the andaman and nicobar where he got his uh, punishment and he died also by the britishers and therefore we can say that he other than people also jumped inside the revolt so this revolt is actually going on the level of the 1857 in which we need to understand that this revolt was making everything to be coming out of the zone and everybody was in luck in that Literally, we can say that the people of Chandap, that is the Chandap also a village, it is in Gujarat, which is also, we can say, 60 miles, 16 miles away from Eder, Himmat Nagar, you need to understand. And also, they also accepted the leadership of, uh, we can say, Netaji and uh, Nathjis and all, and literally, they also formed like a revolt internally from the villages and all. Uh, Nathji and uh, Yamaji, they were they were the uh, pioneer at the time at the Eder and all. They also made the people to join the revolt, and literally they also uh, somehow conquered most of the part of Gujarat in their own hand. And they were thinking that okay, we should make these Britishers to go away from the British from this Gujarat here. So this was not till here. It was the revolt was reaching towards Dwarka via Bay. Uh, we can say via Bay of Bet also. And literally, we can say Donavaran also ordered to attack to the fort and all then other kinds of most of the battles were somehow seen in the Gujarat. Now, women, if you talk about the special the section of the women of the Gujarat, then we can say that ki the Vagars and inside the Vagars community, the women were also active. They came out with the brave, innovative ideas and all and they attacked it to the British soldiers and all and somehow we can say that the Vagar women were also coming with the brave innovative ideas and all they were soaking the mattresses with the we can say with the water and all where they can catch the fire bullets of the cannon fire also the big big cannon balls also they were kept they were somehow uh, stopping by the help of the mattresses with the water filled as you know that India is the name and the land of the people who are always ready to do some kinds of setup with the instruments and the inventions here so it was also like an invention to stop the cannon balls with the help of the mattresses it's a great thing my dear student so we can say Vagar women were very brave and they dismissed also with the Britishers and literally we can say that they dismissed the cannon balls to here without worrying their own life they were trying to stop whenever the cannon ball was fired they were trying to soak the water we can say whole amount of the mattresses 
and they were trying to stop it out. It's like to stop the cannonball with the cloth. It's a simple thing or a natural fiber. Therefore, we can say that their act was bravely acquainted or we can say it was also equivalent to the, we can say, Rani of Lakshmi Bai as she was fighting from the Jhasi. Our Gujarati women were also Rani of, we can say, Lakshmi Bai of Gujarat. So we can say city of North Gujarat like Patan, Kheda, then Bilodas and all, then Mudhetis, etc, etc were also broken into the revolt and literally we can say with the help of native people, the Gujarat also, like Panchmal people and all, Gujarat also plunged with the full force in the war and the revolt too. So he had, we can say generally, if you talk about the army at the Panchmal, the Tatya Tope stayed here as per the norms at the condition in the 1858 and literally uh, he actually, as per the emergence of the British people, he needed to escape to the forest of Vanaswada and also where he was being chased by the British army. So it is said that Tatya Tope was living in the, he, he was captured by the Britishers, but it is not proved theory. Now until the theory is not proved, we can't say that he was actually really captured out. So we can say that Britishers, Gujarat and the Gujarati people and the methods are also having some equivalent relation with this kinds of revolt of 1857. So we can say during this revolt, uh, the weapons and all the things were somehow immunized and they were used also. Now see, my dear student, it was a revolt related to the Gujarat. Now the concept is that the end of the revolt, what was that? Why, why and what was the revolt's end here? See, during the revolt, we can say weapons, soldiers were supplied to the Britishers and for the England and Iran, etc. So the revolt had started at the time on the May, you can say like 1857, but ended to June 1857. Just one month. Why? Because we can say that they were able to not, uh, we can say, channelize this battle properly. And therefore, uh, most of the people from the Banaras, from the Allahabad and all Kanpur were recaptured and somehow we can say it was the end of the revolt also. So Delhi was also under the capture or the control of the Britishers at the November or we can say September 1857. Literally, Bahadur Shah Zafar, who was ruling in the Delhi with his queen Begum Zinat Mahal were also impronized there and they were captured inside the jail at Rangoon they ex they exhaled to go to the Rangoon for the punishment of the death and they literally we can say which is also known as nowadays the capital city of Burma and they were dying after the few years there only Bahadur Shah Zafar and Zinat Mahal who was his Begum so this three son uh, their three son were also murdered by the Britishers so it's a very pathetic thing as we know that now Lucknow was actually captured in the March 1858 and later we can say Jhansi also fell in the captures because of the treachery of one with the another countries and internally we can say Britishers were getting help by the other part of the nation too here of the other people. So literally we can say as a result Rani Lakshmi escaped towards the Kalapi where she died while fighting with the Britishers and the Britishers troops also killed her and literally we can say Nana Sahib, Dekho mein bata, I am making you understand that this all the leaders how they got their martyrdom. Vokesha Shaheed hue. Okay. Then therefore we can say Nana Sahib Peswa also ran from here. He was also escaping since from the border of Nepal and he was also defeated literally and it was also believed that ke he was living in the Shihor village of Bhavanagar before he escaped from there at the district of Gujarat so it is also believed that he was also seen in the 1902 which is not a proved theory uh, but somehow we can say that it is a relevant relevant theory related to this concept of belief here so these all the factors and the relative factors are leading with the battle and the battle conspiracies where we can say that 1857 revolt was somehow failed it is not a revolt which was successful huh, but it gave a motion towards the nation like India, that we should die for the nation, we should come forward for the nation and therefore we can say that okay, there were some of the reasons for the revolt fail here. See, why was the revolt a failure? Why was the revolt a failure? So if you'll go with the reason, you'll get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 reasons why the revolt was failed. And you'll also understand that the revolt was failed because of the negligency or we can say improper planning of the Indian people and the improper planning of the, we can say, Indian people, their league and the other kind of the systematic theory also, where the effect of the consequences of the revolt was also very dangerous, where we can say that it was good effect also and it was bad effect also. Good effect was that people now came to know what is the nationalism, bad effect was that we lost this kinds of precious, we can say, 
patriotic diamond like people there are our patriotic people leaders we lost this kinds of precious leaders so this lecture was still here only my dear students some of the topic we can say are given in the why was the revolt failure seven lines are there you can read by yourself and also you can get the effect and the consequences of the revolt to here so this lecture was still here only the main topics has been discussed by me take care keep revising and also get some extra detailed information in this lecture here your ninth lesson of the eighth standard is getting an end till then you can take care and again i'll tell you that keep revising jai hind